out of all the friends and foes that maybe you've made over the years, uh, is there anybody that would kind of kind of stands out as maybe uh, your toughest opponent that you've had? And I know that's a, a tough question, but does anyone come to mind? So uh, it's uh, it's really tough because I think all fights are memorable for me. Um, but uh, if I had to name a few, I mean, obviously the ones that I remember are the ones I lost. So my most recent one would be uh, the Pancreas title when I fought uh, Viviani Ruho. Um, that was a tough one. And then uh, when I fought uh, Zhang Wei Li in Kunlun, uh, those two fights were absolutely like a one-sided uh, fight. So... Um, I would consider those two the, one of the toughest points. All right. And it's interesting, you know, that you mentioned Wei Li because we know what she's kind of gone on to do since then. And when you kind of face somebody like that, and you, know, you mentioned them right now as one of your toughest opponents, is it, can you kind of tell when they're going to go on to do something great and be champions maybe at the highest level? Is it, is it a lot more evident to you having, you know, getting to fight them yourself? Um, in terms of uh, the Jan Weili fight, um, there's something I do remember uh, quite clearly is where I, I knew that she was uh, practicing her elbows. She was working on her elbows before the fight and I knew that she was uh, working on them. But at the time, I hadn't faced or like elbows, elbow strikes to the face during in women's MMA. There wasn't anybody who could utilize them in, in, in the fight. And I honestly didn't think that elbows were effective or would come in useful uh, in, in, in an MMA fight. And I, I went in there with that mentality. Um, the first round, I was okay, but I took two elbows to the face in the second round and lost by a TKO. So just by uh, just experiencing it firsthand, uh, experiencing a, a woman, female fighter who could utilize elbows during the fight with such efficiency and effectiveness, um, I knew that she was only going to get better from here. And I do remember that clearly. You know, for you, getting to fight Fuji, you caught her right after, you know, her first loss and her historic run that she went on there. Um, just what was it like getting to fight Megumi? Because I'm sure at the time, you know, she had her name and everything like that. Uh, what was the feeling like going into that fight and especially after the first loss just what do you remember about that moment in your career yeah so uh when i fought huji uh huji it's uh it was, it was a very last minute fight she was supposed to fight somebody else and uh <clears throat> i guess the, that opponent fell off and uh you know the offer came to me um and at the time i we fought, I fought uh, Huji-san in December, but I also fought in October and November. And I got this very short notice fight against Huji-san and everybody around me, the team members, everybody around me told me to not take the fight. They didn't want me to fight. Once a month is just way too much and against the, uh, the best pound, pound for pound at the time. Um, but for me, um, I did not not want to miss this opportunity to fight the, the, the best pound for pound woman in the world. And uh, so obviously I fought her. I went in there with the lack of preparation. But uh, my mindset was I was going to fight as myself. Um, no, no game plans, but I was just going to bring myself and see how I would be able to hang against the world's best. I just wanted to know <clears throat> how I would perform against the best in the world. And uh, it was just out of curiosity. You know, I, I, obviously, I went in there to win. I wasn't going in, in there to lose. But um, <clears throat> that fight was... I, I went in there to, to test myself out of curiosity. And uh, I enjoyed it. And um, up until fighting Megumi-san, Fuji-san, I, I was always scared. I got nervous. I got scared fighting uh, before a fight. But for this fight, for the first time in my career, I was excited about it. I was excited to step in there. I was excited to, to compete. And uh, ever since that fight, I've learned how to enjoy the, the, the time before stepping into the ring or, or the cage. It's more of the, I'm very excited about the anticipation on what would happen if I went in there against this tough opponent. 
So since that fight, I've, my mentality has kind of changed a bit, and, uh, and that's that's what I remember. Oh hey, you made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, give it a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, we'll see you next time.